during the reign of King Henry VIII, to have a very different opinion to the king was very dangerous, especially with regards to serious matters such as religion. Henry changed the face of religion in England heavily, after he was constantly refused a divorce from the Pope, with his first wife Catherine of Aragon. Anne Boleyn would not take to the king's bed unless she was made the queen, and Henry split from his first wife, and as the Pope would not budge, Henry broke from Rome, and declared himself the supreme head of the Church of England. Every member of the clergy had to now swear allegiance to the king and accept this, and many could not do this at the time. Even Henry's former Bishop of Rochester, John Fisher, who had previously been a member of court, could not accept this, and this led to his execution. The same was said for Sir Thomas More, one of the king's closest advisers, and for this he also lost his head on Tower Hill. But inside the Tower of London, many of the king's prisoners were held, and inside of the Beecham Tower, today much of the prisoner's graffiti still remains on the walls. Inscribed in one of the walls is Thomas Abel's name, and a bell insignia, but he met a horrific death and execution at Smithfield, a short walk from the Tower of London. But what is the story behind this? Join us today as we look at the horrific execution of Thomas Abel, and remember to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Thomas Abel was born around 1487, and little is known about his early life. He was educated at Oxford University, and he studied a degree to become a Master of Arts, and then he became a doctor in theology. Following this, many priests who were considered scholars like Abel entered the royal courts and households, and Thomas became a chaplain to Queen Catherine of Aragon, who was now married to her second husband, Henry VIII. Catherine had previously been made a widow, but she was initially happy with Henry VIII as a husband. She was afflicted with much sorrow in her marriage, as she could not provide the king with the son he greatly wanted, and also many of her pregnancies failed, as giving birth during the Tudor period was incredibly dangerous for mother and child. But Thomas Abel was close with Catherine of Aragon, meaning that he was a prominent Catholic priest, and he would have been a leading Catholic across the country, due to his links to the Queen, who was also staunchly Catholic. Thomas Abel also taught the Queen modern languages, and also music, and he was then sent to Spain in 1528 to appeal to the Emperor Charles V and inform him about the divorce that Henry VIII was planning. Because of this it shows how trusted he was, and how much Catherine must have thought of Thomas Abel. He was trusted to converse with the powerful Holy Roman Emperor, who could have easily waged war against England with regards to this, and it shows how he was a staunch supporter of the Queen, and that the two were very close. Because of this, it's believed that Thomas Abel then started to attract unwanted attention and hatred from King Henry VIII, as he was struggling to get what he wanted, and he was struggling to divorce Catherine of Aragon. She was later forced out of the royal apartments, and was virtually held under house arrest, until the day she died. But Thomas Abel was seen as one of her defenders, and in 1532, he published a document which said, an answer that by no manner of law it may be lawful for the most noble king of England, King Henry VIII, to be divorced from the Queen's grace, his lawful and very wife. With this, his document was published in Antwerp, under another man's name, to avoid suspicion, and with this he was actively encouraging and participating in treason against the English king. The work contained a number of references they denied the king what he wanted, and with this Henry VIII brought all the copies that were made, and then he destroyed them, as he was so outraged by what someone had written. But suspicion quickly fell on Thomas Abel, and it was clear that it was he who wrote the slanderous piece of work, and if there was one person you did not want to get upset, it was King Henry VIII, the man who would even go on to execute two of his own wives. But as soon as he was found, Thomas Abel was arrested, and was thrown inside the Tower of London, and was held inside of the Beecham Tower. He was held initially for a period of time, and was then freed for a year. But then he was imprisoned at the Tower yet again, in December 1533, as he was accused of spreading prophecies that had been predicted by the Maid of Kent, Elizabeth Barton. She was later executed for allegedly predicting the death of Henry VIII, if he married Anne Boleyn, and Thomas Abel was arrested for spreading this sort of prediction amongst the English people. 
It was said that he also wished for Catherine to continue to persist with her opposition of the divorce, and he claimed that Catherine of Aragon will always be the queen in the people's eyes. But he was kept inside the Tower of London under very close watch and lock and key for a significant amount of time. He was not allowed to speak to anyone and was kept until the day of his execution, and it's believed he was locked up for around six years. This came interestingly two days after the execution of Thomas Cromwell, the king's former chief advisor and close friend. In the time which he had been imprisoned, Thomas Abel had seen a lot of change, however he was still considered an enemy of the king. He had carved the symbol of a bell with the letter A on it, and his name Thomas above, during his imprisonment onto the walls of his cell. He wrote whilst at the tower, to others asking for some relief from his close imprisonment, and even asked to go to church and say mass within the Tower of London, and to go to some house on the green for some respite. However, these requests were never granted, and on the 30th of July 1540, he was taken from his cell in the Tower of London, and was then taken to Smithfield, a place which became synonymous with burning alive during the reign of Bloody Mary I, the daughter of Catherine of Aragon and Henry VIII. He had been sentenced to death by an act of attainder, and it was said that he and three other men had most traitorously adhered themselves until the Bishop of Rome, being a common enemy unto your majesty in the realm, refusing your highness to be our and their supreme head of this and your realm of England. With this his crimes were not accepting Henry VIII as the supreme head of the Church of England, and in being close with the Pope, and by not accepting the changes Henry brought to religion in England. With this Thomas Abel was sentenced to be drawn on a hurdle to the place of execution, there to be hanged, cut down alive, your members to be cut off and cast in the fire, your bowels burned before your eyes, your head smited off, your body to be quartered at the king's will, and God have mercy on your soul. This is exactly what happened to Thomas Abel, and he was brought in front of a large crowd on a market day in Smithfield, where there was also a huge market, which attracted the crowds, and he was hanged, drawn and quartered. He was taken there tied to a horse on a hurdle, and was then subject to the hanging until he was almost dead, before he was then cut down. He was then disemboweled, and his insides were burned in front of him, before an executioner cut off his head and quartered him. His execution was one of the most brutal of its kind in Henry VIII's reign, and was one of the most shameful deaths. Thomas Abel was a man who died of his own convictions, and true to his own beliefs and his religion, but his end was one which was very brutal. Today the etchings and carvings he made on the walls of his cell inside the Tower of London are a strong reminder of his horrific ordeal and his suffering. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you for watching.